Today is Sunday, April 26th, 2020, and it is 12.18 p.m. And this has been my first video in a while. Um, a lot of stuff has gone down even before the, the virus. Um... I had to find a new psychiatrist because mine changed practices and he set me up with someone still at at the practice where he was leaving and I left thinking I was going to be calling her and making an appointment when I ran out of meds. But, um, when the receptionist called later on that day, she was the one who had to tell me that she didn't, the new doctor didn't want to take me on as a patient. So, I found another office, which is really, they're amazing. I am so happy that I found them. And, um, I stopped seeing my therapist, too. Like everything, both of them were a pinnacle. And the therapist there, I wasn't getting anywhere with her. Like, I mean, the new one, she just like cuts right to the point. Like she, she's not like, she's not mean. She's actually very lovely. Like, I think I had two visits with her in person, and now it's over video, or teleconference, whatever it is, but no, she's very lovely. Um, so that happened. And then somebody, I, I worked with for 14 years, basically the whole time I've worked where I've been working, um, they died, they, they took their own life, and, um, it was very unexpected and very horrific and when I was told I was pretty sure the whole second floor heard me <laughs> and another co-worker was going to come in to uh, see what was going on and another co-worker had to tell him to mind his own bleep in business because it wasn't his place. <laughs> so, um, I'm still trying to like figure that out. He was a good person. He helped a lot of people. It was memorial. It happened on March 24th. And his service wasn't even, I, I don't think, a week. Might have been if it was a week and a day, but I don't even think it was that. It wasn't. And that was a Tuesday or Wednesday that it happened, and they had it the next Monday. A woman that he helped that had mental health issues. She completely lost it.
like a lot of people are lost without him. But I feel bad for his grandbaby. He's not a baby anymore. But he adored that man. He's not going to understand for a while. I don't know if anyone from here follows me on Facebook, but if you do, then you already know. We're on Instagram. You already know the saga. Blah. And I found out, what did I find out? Two weeks ago, my psychiatrist, we were doing the teleconference thing, and she's a PA. She gives all of her files to a doctor. And as soon as she starts off, as soon as like she comes on the screen, she's like, so um, yeah, we have two things to talk about. I guess I was being over medicated on the Lamictal that I was on. And I was taking that instant effect Adderall. So I was on one Lamictal in the morning and two at night when we were at Mill Grounds. And she said, I mean, it's for epilepsy. And with the lithium that I was put on because of other situations, that I didn't need that high of a dose. Just like with the Vibrid and Cymbalta. And, uh, so I went from one in the morning to one and a half at night for a week. And now I'm down to one. And, we're at, and I'm taking the extended release that we're all. So. I'm good. 50-50. Um, this whole virus situation is not it's like there's nowhere to escape to you know something would happen or I would just want to get out and go someplace. I would always go up to Crossgates or Colony Center if I felt Ooh. <laughs> or Stuyvesant Plaza you know Crossgates or Colony Center or Stuyvesant Plaza I mean I've been going to Walmart when I need stuff I've only been at Walmart once, I think. Since the complete business, like, the last time I went to the mall was the day before they were that Sunday. And the next day, I guess, they were going to be, like, completely closed. And I wanted to go to Hot Topic. <laughs> the one store I wanted to go to. They were mostly clothes and coffees, but that was the one store. So, FYE was open, so I went there. 
and since then I've been to Walmart once or twice and that was in the very beginning and it wasn't even for like hurting stuff it was like for paint <laughs> because I needed like acrylic paint tubes like because we have a, a membership to BJ's so like every I don't know like with toilet paper we've always been overly prepared but for paper towels and stuff like it wasn't even for that crap that we went it was for grocery shopping and it was crazy like my mom drinks bottled water and there was no bottled water like um my thing was was like the cats i was worried about them i'm one of those people i'm the crazy hat person so it was like instead of one bag of cat litter it was like three and you know two bags you know big bags of cat food and two cases of canned cat food you know like making sure that they were going to be set in case <laughs> anything were to happen that even happened still. Yeah. And so brought the smoke shop on Fuller Road by me. It's still open. And you call ahead and they'll bring it out and everything else. So every the like four weeks like when it happened maybe even before it happened no it was after they closed wow it's been so long like we've that's what I've been buying because there was supposedly a possible issue with cigarettes and stuff. So I mean I'm lucky. I still have a job. Our boss made everyone an essential employee. Which I'm very grateful for. Because at least I get out Monday through Friday. They used to be 8 to 4, now it's 9 to 5. They didn't want to pay other other people over time so um I mean that's cruddy but I, I can handle that but that's why I get up in the morning and take a shower and get dressed So, I think I talked to you guys about the whole Lucy Davis email, Instagram thing, somebody hacked her account. Well, that same person gave me Miranda Otto's address.
us in California, I think, I don't know, along with two phone numbers. I have not called them, so I don't know. Um, and they struck again and gave me an Australian address. Lucy knows. I don't know if Miranda knows. I will say she is a bitch. Like, I, like I don't care, dude. You you don't want to acknowledge me. Whatever. But don't take advantage of the fact that I have this information that might be real and I'm being chill about it because there might be somebody else that's not chill about it I don't know and I sent a message to her husband on Instagram, so, I mean, I covered, <laughs> it is what it is at this point, she's such a bitch. She acts like she's better than everyone else. Like, on her live stream the other night with Lucy. Like, she just has this fucking attitude. And it's like, nobody asked you to do a live stream. <laughs> like, I'm sure people did, but you didn't have to. Like, I don't know. That's it. Um, if you see this and watch this, thank you. And happy Sunday. And I hope everybody stays safe and healthy and well. And just remember, even if you think you're alone, there's always somebody. There's always 800 numbers, even, for suicide prevention. Just remember to reach out. Because everyone matters. Everyone's life is... Everyone has a purpose. And just because, and you, you might not know what your purpose is, but your purpose might be to smile at the next person you see walking down the street and how are you gonna do that if you're not here? Just remember, your smile might be your purpose. And without your smile, somebody else might forget their purpose. Bye. I will be back soon. I better start doing this again. Alright.